Hello friends, Nick here with coming at you with another video and in this one we're going to discuss a couple issues that I have encountered in Studio One 4.1 and a couple fixes to solve these issues. I hope you will find this helpful because these couple issues are actually super, super annoying and really get in the way of your workflow. So let's dive in and let's see what issues I'm talking about. So the first issue is that when you go to make a cut in the timeline on a piece of uh, music, see like this clip here, like watch what happens when I make a cut. The screen jumps. See that? Like, let me do it again. Oh, I didn't do it this time, but see, see what happens? It jumps. Do it again. Oh. And it's really annoying because you'll be trying to make like, you'll be going in, you want to cut and see, it jumps to the beginning. So you got to go back and find where the hell you made your cut and do it again. It's super, super annoying. Uh, let's undo that. Okay. Super, super annoying, right? So how do we fix that? How do we get rid of that? So there's a new feature that Studio One added and it's this beat linear time mode, the time base. So if you click up here in the menu under time base where it says bars and then you change it to time linear, it will actually solve this issue. So let's do some cuts again. See? Now it's not jumping around at all, right? Not doing it, oh, not jumping around at all. So that's how you solve that one issue. Let's, let's, let me, let me show you, let me go back to beat linear, right? And then let me just prove to you that that's, see? Back to beat linear and it starts jumping around again. Super, super annoying. So. To solve that, just keep your uh, Studio One 4.1 in time linear for now. I really like the beat linear mode, but until they fix this issue, I'm going to stick with time linear mode. I'm used to it, so no big deal. That's how Studio One has been for the whole time. No biggie. All right, next issue we have is with Melodyne. I can show you by bouncing the track. So we have some vocals here that I recorded and I'm going to be running it through a vocoder and stuff and pitch shifting it. It's going to be it's going to be cool when I, I'm done with it. But one of the issues is when you start running uh, Melodyne and start to do something with it, it totally messes up with the timing of the audio. Let me bounce the track. See what happened? Bounce. You see, you can see the timing completely it's completely changed. It's completely off. I mean, that's that's huge. I mean, I'm not even zoomed in that far. That's that's a really, really huge issue. Like, that is really bad. But there is a way to solve this. So, in order to bring up this, uh, this all this extra information, hit F4 on your keyboard. Or just click this I here. That brings up the inspector window. Make sure you have the track that you're going to be uh, putting Melodyne on selected. And then go here to Tempo and then set it to don't follow. And then when we bounce it down now, you'll see that the audio does not move. That's what we want. We don't want Melodyne messing with our timing unless we tell it to, so why would you? It does for some reason, some weird bug in Studio One 4.1, which made it really annoying. I mean, until I figured out how to do this, I was just like, what the fuck? Like, I'm going to punch somebody in the mouth. That's kind of, yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this information informative and it'll help you if you encounter these issues. They're very annoying and hopefully PreSonus will release an update very soon. Until then, these are the workarounds that you can employ to solve these issues for now. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.